New York says get rich, Hollywood says stay young, but these days the only way to stay rich is to get old. The people are screaming for Hollywood's hottest grandpas to leap off our tallest skyscrapers and romance our younger but still slightly less inappropriately so than in the past, grandmothers. And it's not just the movies. DC is a who's who of who still uses a physical alarm clock. Here to discuss the silver on the silver screen and the white in the White House, it's someone who gets younger every day. It's the incredible Tian Tran. Hi. Come on out. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thank make you for clear having a, me. Clear a space. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hello. Um. Uh. Who's your favorite old man? Wow, what a question. <laughs> um, of all the old men, I think um, Harrison Ford. I think he's my favorite. Uh, I loved the Indiana Jones movies. Me, yeah, me too. Like I actually, I haven't seen the new one. I yet. like the new one. Okay, should I go see it? You should. Should we go see it in theaters? Yes. Okay, great. But but the, but we're not. We didn't work on the project. We're just no, that's no, just no. An we're, opinion. we're just, this just we're just fans. Um, I also rode the Indiana Jones ride recently and got stuck right at the part where he's kind of just dangling. Oh. Um, sorry to spoil the ride for you. He's kind of dangling right before you drop. And um, we were there for like five minutes. So it kind of made me really love him even more. Yes. So, okay. Someone got stuck there too. There's the Indiana Jones ride yeah. here at Disneyland. But in Florida, they have the exact same ride. But there it's themed after the movie Dinosaur, which is not Jurassic Park. Yep. And the whole ride is basically like, come on, everybody to not Jurassic Park, where we're gonna ride in a not Jeep and use not genetic technology yes. to, to fight a not Raptor and a not Tyrannosaurus and Rex. And you're like, it's never good. It was never peaceful. It's bad from the jump. Like, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but it's there this... is no like, it's kind of good. And then you veer off. It's like, it's bad from the beginning. And uh, it's the same exact ride, but just with dinosaurs. Same exact everything. Yep. But the Indiana Jones one is better. The other thing that is very funny about Animal Kingdom is presumably the idea of it was like, this is gonna be a place that celebrates real animals in the real world. But then clearly something went wrong. They're like, fuck it, it's an avatar thing now. Yeah. And is so it really? They, yes. And so now you go to Animal Kingdom and then they're like, come on over to Pandora. And it's like, you have actual fucking rhinos here. There's no <laughs> line to see them. <laughs> the line is all about going to meet the Navi. And it's like, this is why we're not gonna have icebergs. You that's know what exactly, I mean? No, that's exactly why. Because the rhinos aren't being seen anymore. But don't you think it's wild? <laughs> Do you think it's possible? <laughs> I only just got that. <laughs> Do, you think, Do you think it's possible for any young social media stars to break through? Or or are we just sort of we're just gonna live off the old stars and I mean, I, I feel like I feel like they will break through, but not in an action movie sort of way. Like, I feel like the younger act, like, could you see a Timothy Chalamet, like, jumping off a building at all? Am I, al am I alone in thinking that I don't kind of want to see him do that? He seems so emotionally, like, fragile and, like, good. Like, I don't want to see him, like, punch something. You know what he could do? He could do, like, Okay, so a... everyone wants to see Timothy Chalamet. Could, yeah. Sorry to be completely alone. He could be, like, you know Sorry what he could do? Sorry you're excited for Wonka. No. And we're all excited for Wonka. Finally, the story of how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Because <sighs> when I see, because when I saw the, the 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 Gene Wilder version all those years ago, I thought, God, what an interesting and mysterious figure. I hope that at some point this gets completely demystified. Yes. <laughs> I hope every facet of this becomes explained in a future movie. Every choice that some crew and production and director made name. with it yes like just some so i like to have all of this sort of laid bare yes like uh, charlie and the chocolate factory willy wonka wonka it's the willies like yeah and i definitely think we should like keep exploring the concept of oompa loompas uh and take it more and more seriously 100 percent 100 percent and not unpack it just keep just keep going, going. in the wrong direction um I would like to see Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> you know, like how how like Die Hard, it's like 
it was like all about how like oh he was more of a no- he wasn't like Sylvester Stallone or Arnold Schwarzenegger he was like more of a normal guy I think that it's cool to have like we should have like a soft boy die hard and it's just I like mean, I would watch Timothy yeah, okay. Chalamet just like doing die hard stuff but like unpacking way, it emotionally just like kind of going through it in real time <laughs> yeah, yeah. like he's going through it and then there's a therapist there with him yeah yeah I think that'd be great <laughs> He calls his therapist. He calls his therapist. I just punched a man. Why'd I do that? I don't well, feel listen. present. I don't, I don't feel I present. I don't feel present. Listen, you have pent up anger about your dad and you're taking it out on this man. Now I'm going to quiz you. Great. On. Because I've seen a, a lot of these action movies um, for sure. Uh, now, I don't know if you've lately dozed off with a Werther's original tucked into your cheek. But if you have, you're ready for this game. Oh, God. Okay. Because it's time to play Yes Country for Old Men. Yes. Here's how it works. This is a lesbian dream right now. (laughs) Yeah. Yep. Are you ready? I'm so ready. In the year 2000, Harrison Ford, who's star of the new film Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny, appeared on Conan O'Brien, where the late night host made this joke about the franchise. People will never get tired of that genre. You could do it for, I mean, you could, when you're 80, you could do ones where they just bring the treasures to you. And you're in. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, How old do you think Harrison Ford is today? Oh, man. Uh, um, Like, uh, that reference didn't help me at all in figuring out his age. 70... One. Harrison Ford is 81 as of today. Oh my God. Thursday, July 13th is his literal birthday. Oh my, happy which birthday. Means, which means he is 80 in Dial of Destiny. Oh my God. That's crazy. Didn't as a bonus, what movie was Harrison Ford promoting in the year 2000? I feel like I'm getting fucked over in these questions. Um... <laughs> 2000. I'll give you a hint. Okay. His co-star was Michelle Pfeiffer. Don't. 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 Is it, um, oh God, I'm so bad with the movies of the men. Um, I'll give you another hint. Okay, yeah, give me another hint. This is, that is not going to help. Pfeiffer. It was a movie that only exists, that only existed because I think it's Zemeckis needed something to do when Tom Hanks was losing weight for the end of Castaway. So he's, they made the first half of Castaway, then he went and made this film, and then he finished making Castaway. That's why this movie okay, exists. That's why the DGA didn't strike. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, seven Days, Seven Nights? So close, it's What Lies Beneath. Oh. It's What Lies Beneath. What that's, is that, is that about? Am I right? Yeah. Okay. Was he Thank in, he, is it Harrison Ford in Seven Days, Seven Nights? Yes. Who is he in that with? The Anne Heche. I mix those yeah. two up. Same sort of Bob. <laughs> Someone's like, no, they are not alike. Yeah. Okay. This, sorry, I thought Anne Heche and, and Michelle Pfeiffer looked the same. Two beautiful two be- blonde women. <laughs> yeah. They're like, no, she doesn't. Tom Cruise, meanwhile, is hurling himself off of cliffs and cycling off of mountainside ramps in the newly released Mission Impossible Dead Reckoning Part 1. How old is Tom Cruise? Okay. Um, is he, is he 80? Uh, no. Um, six, 67. Oh, he's 61. He's 61. 61. 61. 61. Did anyone else know that? It might, it might be a Hollywood 61. It's you know a Hollywood I mean? 61, right? The okay. Expendables 4 is also set to hit theaters, which if any of these Expendables is under the age of 55. Oh Jason Statham, Dolph Lundgren, Sylvester Stallone, or Andy Garcia? Under the age of? 55. And only one, right? How, oh, how many? I don't even know the second man. Um, <laughs> Not a fan of the incoherent action movies of the 80s? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jason Statham. No. What? He is 55. <laughs> None of them. They're all none of them. They're all over wow. fifty-five. Dolph Lundgren is sixty-five. Sylvester Stallone is seventy-seven. Andy Garcia is sixty-seven. Wow. Yeah, that's right. The Jason Stath- Stath- Statham. Yeah, he's aged incredibly. 
What is what historical event happened the year of Joe Biden's birth? Is it A, the draft was lowered from 21 to 18, uh, B, J. Robert Oppenheimer took over the Manhattan Project, C, Casablanca premiered at the Los Angeles Hollywood Theater, D, just A and B, which would be the draft in Oppenheimer, or E, all of the above happened the year of Joe Biden's birth? It's always been a nightmare of mine that the lack of knowledge about white men would come to bite me in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> literally happening. Okay. Okay, can I get those one more time? Uh, Oppenheimer, The Draft, Casablanca, all of the above or just A and B? I need an answer. All of the above. Yeah, it's all of the above. They all, all of the above. <laughs> follow up, what year was it? Yes. Oh, follow up, nine, 19, uh, 1930, how old is he? Oh, 1921. He wasn't born it's in the 20s. I know, I know, I know. 1947. Two, you got it. 1942. Last week, GOP Congressman Matt Gates complained that the gerontocracy was responsible for what? A, not controlling the negative effects of social media. B, blocking pro-psychedelic bills. C, spreading the woke virus by not covering their mouth when they cough. Or D, all of the above. All of the above. No, he, he was angry that the old people are blocking the psychedelic bills. Oh. He, Mike, Mike Gates, he wants, he wants to take mushrooms. He wants to, okay. He wants to take mushrooms. Mike Gates likes to party and, and uh, he never lets us forget it. <laughs> Who is currently the youngest person seriously running for president? Seriously. Seriously? It's, Seri a, it's, it's on a spectrum. Seriously running for president. President right now. God, I don't, I honestly. I'll, I, give, you a, I'll give you a hint. Yeah. She is a former governor. It can't be. Former, I don't know. It's Nikki Haley. Oh, Nikki Haley. Who is 51. Who oh. is the current person unseriously running the youngest, who is the youngest person unseriously running for president? It's Vivek Ramaswamy, who's 37 years old. Oh, him. Yes, yes, yes. Who was older when they fathered their new infant child this year? Al Pacino or Robert De Niro? Al Pacino. That's correct. <laughs> Al Pacino is 83. Thank God. De Niro was 79. Okay, great. Hot. That's hot for me. You gonna see the Tom Cruise movie? I mean, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna be honest. Are you? Yeah. Really? Yeah. He died you for us. I'm going to book it at Beppo, and I'm seeing the movie. Oh my God. You know those? I in preparing for this, it, I know it looks like I didn't prepare for this. Um, in preparing for this, those movies are called geriatric films. Oh. Oh. Did you know that? And uh, yeah. What, what a helpful piece Ge of knowledge. Geriatric genre. Wow, so now, go home and tell, tell a loved one. <laughs> and you okay? know what? Right before you go to bed, right before you kiss them goodnight, go, <laughs> Jerry action genre. Uh, you know what I've learned about you? You have a very special set of skills. That's a Jerry. That's a Jerry. That's a Taken. That's a Taken. That's the taken. only that's one taken. I've seen. That's a Taken. Liam Neeson. One more time for Tian. Did great. <laughs> that was hard. Uh,